they quietly nerfed the longbow we have taken the lead. a couple of days ago here's what they did it was only the jack tyrant kit the 30 percent hip fire benefit and increasing the ads up to 470 milliseconds which is quite a lot so i immediately tested the longbow because i've done a lot of fighting with this particular sniper rifle and you know what I really can't tell a difference I do have a jack tyrant kit on the thing I mostly don't ADS well I quick scope with it a lot or I hard scope with it when I'm going for distance so you still get the extreme benefit distance of the Jack Tyrant kit. So, uh, like I said, all of this film that you're seeing or video that you're seeing now was shot immediately after the nerf with the longbow equipped with the nerfed Jack Tyrant. So, let's sit back and take a look at it and see how it performs. In terms of being a rushing weapon, there's a quad feed, five kill, get them off. Get in there, let's go. In terms of it being a weapon that's good for rushing points, I think it still is. And I really only noticed the ADS increase when I'm standing waiting for the game to start. In fact, I noticed that before I read the patch notes on the nerf. So, just to review, I did a video, and I'll link it at the end of this video, on whether the jack or whether the longbow should be nerfed. And my answer then was, eh, I really didn't think so, because the longbow excels in handling, and when I say it excels, it's a good sniper rifle for handling. It doesn't particularly beat out in any huge way the inhibitor or even the stalker if you look at the numbers there's only tenths of a meter per second difference in the handling of this weapon and its movement speed isn't even as good as the inhibitor the place where it falls down significantly is in the damage ranges it just doesn't pack as much of a punch as the other sniper rifles do. And it makes sense when you consider, I think the longbow was originally intended as a marksman rifle. So it's ADS, is a marksman's rifle's ADS. It even had kind of a hip fire type ADS. A lot of people, mostly in the knifing and melee community, shield community, we're complaining about the longbow. Well, the longbow is a good counter to a knifer, but then so is a stalker. So is a Lockwood 680 or any other shotgun. But this one was particularly getting people's attention because supposedly a lot of people are using the Jack Tyrant kit with no, no sight on it and they were destroying lobbies. Well, I was in a couple of those lobbies with people configured like that and in one instance the guy was definitely using a Cronus or some other form of uh, Call of Duty steroids, aftermarket steroids, uh, but in the other case he was just a good player. And the thing about it is, as a good player with a longbow, it's going to be a good player with a stalker. And I've posted enough stalker videos that even though it's a, it packs a heavier punch, it still ADSs faster than the longbow, than my configuration with the longbow. So this is my first time out in the background here, or in the foreground, with the nerfed longbow. Jack Tyrant kit included, because like I said earlier, that's the only thing that got nerfed. Like I said, I don't really see a difference. So the question is, in my mind, why the nerf? Were people really going around with this thing hip-shotting folks? Because I didn't see that. They nerfed the hip shot, and maybe some of you have, and please let me know if, in the comments if you're one of those people. 
I don't think the ADS, even though it's a full frame plus slower, affects it that much because there are things that you can do in the configuration and the attachments that somewhat make it a much faster aim down sight speed. Now, in my opinion, shipment is the great test of versatility for a sniper rifle. So here we go, farming these guys, and I realize you're going to say, oh, this is the easiest lobby since the 300 Spartans defeated all those folks from across the sea back in 800 B.C. Okay, I'll, I'll grant you, but the thing is, these guys are still running, and the longbow is still a good counter to people who run around now. I did play against some ranked players last night, and I wish I had the, the film of that. I used the longbow with no sight, and in some cases absolutely destroyed them. And these guys, some of them were ranked up fairly high. Now, in case you see me missing shots here, which Grandpa Newbie is known to do, I'll give you an old saying. Don't blame the uh, don't blame the brushes, blame the artists. In other words, don't blame the tool, blame the person wielding the tool. Man, there's someone in the corner. They must have been naughty on the team. Oh, see, prime example, clean miss. But again, I don't think they nerfed the longbow into the ground. In fact. For me, since I don't hip fire with it, it's essentially the same weapon as it's always been. Whether or not I can use it depends on my mood at the time, my skill set, my mindset, my situational awareness, whether or not I've had a shower, and whether or not Grandma Newbie is mad at me. So that's it. The nerf, in my opinion, was a placebo to respond to the clamor from the melee community, knifing community, and nothing more. Because it's the same weapon. And I've got, I wish I'd looked it up for this video, I've got several thousand kills. I've got the longbow at mastery with this weapon. And it, almost all of them were before the nerf. And I just don't see any difference. So I'll let you watch the rest here. We're, we're just about at the end. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace. Target area, update, move to the hardpoint. Area inside the perimeter. Hardpoint compromised. 